Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a first impression of the new NYX Professional Makeup Tiger Energy Lunar New Year palette. I have to say, I haven't seen many brands doing Lunar New Year themed makeup. Usually a lot of brands are coming out with things. BH Cosmetics usually comes out with something, but they have not this year, at least not from what I've seen. This is one of the few brands that I've actually seen coming out with any Lunar New Year themed makeup. I'm also going to be doing the Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. Been wanting to try this for a while. Usually I use a brow pencil. So this would be my first time using any kind of a brow pen type product, but I've been really curious about this. So I went ahead and I grabbed this too. When I made my order, I didn't realize it until I went to check out that I accidentally ordered two of these palettes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of them in a future giveaway. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You're following me on Instagram. It'll probably be sometime in February when I do it. And I will be picking two winners because I have a whole bunch of stuff that I've been like slowly gathering. So make sure you look out for that. So this is what the palette looks like. I did do some close-ups. I will drop that in here now. But you have the black and red kind of tiger stripe on the front on the corner it says tiger in chinese and this one is a trifold palette i do like the artwork on the inside i think that is really really cute it's really really pretty it's a little paw print down here that makes the o on 2022 still cannot believe we're in 2022 formula wise the mats performed okay when i did the swatches the purple which is called berry beastly in the corner that one did not swatch very well at all. That one was so patchy. I had to go back over it several times just to get it to look even. So we'll see how it performs when on the actual eyelid if that ends up being one of the shades that I use today. The shimmer formula was okay. They're not particularly metallic. They're not foils or anything like that. You know, one would think when it is a Lunar New Year themed palette that you would have some metallics. You would have some foils in here. So NYX in general has a hit or miss eyeshadow formula. They're not particularly my favorite, but I did like the packaging. I thought this was like really cute, so I decided to go ahead and grab it. The palette retails for $10, so not expensive, very affordable. So if it's not that great of a formula, it didn't really hurt the pocketbook. I've been using the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f., and I've really been enjoying this. I've used it under three different foundation formulas so far with similar results. Foundation wear has been really good. It's been looking really nice and smooth. If I continue to get the results that I've been getting, you may see this in my favorites for January, but we will just have to see what happens. So let's dive into this palette. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with my eyeshadow primer, so that way that can be setting down while I put down my brow pencil. And of course, I'm going to prime with my Milani eyeshadow primer. So that's what the pen looks like. I got it in dark brown, which is what I would normally use. It's like nice little strokes. It says to use it in a downward motion going up to fill it in so that it looks like hair and kind of fills in your brows. So let's give this a try. Like I said, I usually use just a regular brow pencil. I've never used a brow pen before, so... I'm very, very interested in seeing how this goes. All right, so far, it is looking like natural brow hairs. I don't know if you can see. It's definitely giving me nice little actual hair strokes. This is not a new product. I think this came out in 2021. I'm not sure exactly. I saw a lot of people using products like this, but me myself i would never used anything like this before i thought i'd finally go ahead and give it a try i think it was on sale if i remember correctly could be wrong but i think it was that may have been why i decided to go ahead and get it i'll tell you one thing you do not have to go very heavy with it just go very very light and it just gives you these really really nice strokes hmm so far i am liking it. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off camera because I know this is going to take me a minute and then we will come back and we will throw on these shadows. All right I have finished filling in my brows and so far I am liking it. It did take a little longer than my regular you know eyebrow pencil does. It's definitely one of those products I'm going to have to play with a little bit more but let's go on ahead and jump into the eyeshadow look. Let me throw on some blush and highlighter real quick from Colourpop. We're going to be using the Super Shock blush in Georgette. It's a really pretty kind of a red toned blush and then we're going to highlight using the dewy cream highlighter from Shop Miss A AOA Studio in Silk. It's a really beautiful formula and it's only a dollar. Is 
use the F13 brush from Shop Miss AOA Studio to do my cream blush. This is the first time I've ever used this brush and it actually worked very, very well for applying cream blush. All right, so we're going to start with Roaring Rage, which is the red shade here. I'm going to lay that on the outside, blending that into the crease. And then we're probably going to take True Stripes right here to kind of blend that out, depending on how pigmented that is. I think I want to try to lay the green over the lid, maybe the gold, but let's start with Roaring Rage, and then we'll see where this look takes us. I'm using this smaller detail brush from Shotness A, just so that I can have a little bit more control and we can focus the shadow where I actually want it to go. I'm still looking at ordering those brushes from Blend Bunny. They look so nice and I've seen so many good reviews on them. All right, so far this red is not blending out the best. It's going a, on a little bit patchy. The pigment is nice and it is an actual true red, which I do like because a lot of times reds will come off more pink and they're not you know a super real true red but this one is definitely a true red so we are liking that that is good like i said it's blending okay it's not the best for me but then again nyx in my opinion does not make the best shadows take a little bit of that true stripes on this luxie blending brush i just want to kind of blend out the edges just a bit so that it's like not super intense and super harsh I'm trying to get through this look as quick as possible before my phone starts to get hot as you guys know we've kind of had that problem lately with my phone getting hot after about 15 20 minutes of filming it's a really pretty red but the blend is definitely not the best again with just a little bit more of that red just right in here i'm just going to kind of pack that in focus it on this outer part go back in with that luxie brush and then just soften it and blend i'm going to take roar and more right here which is kind of a burnt orange and i'm going to lay that along my lower lash line just real quickly before we start laying down our shimmers very close to the lash line it's a pretty shade it's nice and pigmented blending pretty well in this area i'm gonna take jungle king on my lid pretty kind of a sagey green there i'm gonna take it on my brush and then i'm going to spray it with a little bit of setting spray just to see if i can get a little bit more shine going on when i did the swatches it was not very intense so i want to give it as much intensity as i can let's see how this performs Okay, wetting the brush gave it a little bit more intensity than in the swatch. Still not super shiny, still not like super wowed by it or anything. I wish the shimmers in this palette were more metallic, more foily, especially considering that it is a New Year's themed palette. It would just, you know, make sense to me that you would want those shimmers to really, really stand out and really, really shine. I'm going to take Rebel Kind, which is the gold, and lay that more towards the inner part of the eye. I'm using an angled BH Cosmetics brush so that I can kind of focus it in here. Yeah, on its own, there is absolutely no payoff. I am not getting any kind of shine or anything happening with this. So we are going to spray this shade as well. See what happens. All right, we have a little bit more intensity, but yeah, this I am not not at all impressed with this formula i have other golds and other palettes that are just so much shinier so much more metallic looking than this i mean as you can see there's not very much payoff at all with this i am not very impressed my daughter just sent me a text asking if there were any more cupcakes my my nine-year-old well he was eight turned nine yesterday had a little birthday party and he had cupcakes so she's she's wanting to know if there are any more left I'm taking this first brush that has that Roaring Ray red shade and I'm just kind of blending everything out. Make sure the edges are blended together. To finish off this look, I'm going to take this little brush from Beauty Bay and we're going to go into the black, which is that Wildlife. And I'm going to use that as my liner. 
see how that works out. I'm just going to take the shadow and lay it really, really close to the lash line. So I'm going to use my magnifying mirror here because I'm going to really, really, really need to see that detail. I'm interested in seeing how intense this black is. It's really difficult to make a super intense black shade. All right, so far that's performing pretty well. I'm getting a little bit of a fallout, but it is pigmented. It's a pretty nice looking black. I'm basically just taking the brush and just pressing the shade against my lash line. Not really blending. All right, so far I think that is a nice looking black. All right, I'm going to clean up some of this fallout on my face, pick something from my waterline, throw in some lashes, throw on a lip, just finish off this look, and then we will come back and do our final looks. For my lower waterline, I use Two Can Do It, which is this really pretty gold metallic from ColourPop. My lashes are the Ardell Wispies. Demi Wispies. I thought these would be really, really pretty for this look. Line my lips with the ColourPop liner in overtime, and then my overall lip shade is from NYX. It is the Powder Puff Lippy in Boy's Tears. All right, now for our final thoughts on the palette. Packaging is really, really cute. I love the trifold design. It's really, really nice. Formula-wise, it's not that impressive. The mattes performed okay. That red was a little bit patchy. It did, it did blend out all right. I used that shade True Stripes right here just to kind of blend out the top so that it wouldn't be too harsh. The shimmers, not very impressed with at all. There was not much shine to them at all. Even using my setting spray to kind of, you know, amp up the shine still is not much. This green shade is pretty, but I have green similar to this in other palettes that I just absolutely love. I would have loved to have seen metallics or foils in this palette when you consider that it is a Lunar New Year themed palette. But, you know, when you consider that it was only $10, you know, I guess the formula was okay for, you know, what you paid for. So does the end of this video let me know guys down in the description box what you thought about this palette. Have you picked up this palette yourself? What did you think about the formula? Are you a fan of NYX shadows in general? Like I said, I NYX, the NYX shadow formula is not my favorite. So pretty hit or miss. If you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would consider joining my little family. Hit and subscribe and make sure you tap the notification bell down below so you get notified each and every time. Also, don't forget to follow me on my other socials. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. All the links are listed down below. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.